And we do have Whitetail here. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. Today we decided to make a move. Today we decided to move our great one, Whitetail Grind, from Layton to Rancho. Now the reason I made this decision, guys, I really tried to give Layton a go. We did find about 40 zones, 40 drink zones for Whitetail in Layton and we did start to do our grind. But what actually happened, guys, is they take forever to come into their zones and it takes me like an hour to shoot like 10 bucks. And that has been what is happening. And then I come over here to Rancho and I just can't believe the amount of whitetail here. They are just absolutely everywhere. Now, before we head into the video, guys, if you do enjoy the video or learn anything at all, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. There's another zone. Smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm and I really do appreciate it. So thanks guys for that. And we're gonna head right into it. So I am in the process of finding all of my Rancho zones. Now I understand that there are around 60 Sometimes more 60 drink zones for Whitetail in Rancho. Now in Layton, there should be around 40. And in Mississippi, I understand that there are around 70 drink zones for Whitetail in Mississippi. Now that is a lot of Whitetail, holy. In Rancho, you're gonna find Whitetail since the February 22nd update everywhere except for basically the top left corner. They are down here at W Lake. They never used to be there. They are along the coast here. Now they are also at these three lakes in the bottom corner. So far I have whitetail in these two zones right here and I do need to search this area right here. But they're even all the way up here. That is a whitetail zone. So you wanna drop a tent there. I did have a zone here. It doesn't seem to be there anymore but you can have whitetail at this lake too. So hopefully we will find that zone again. Now what you wanna do guys is you really should find all your zones before you start shooting the deer because if you don't you basically have to recheck every single zone once you have every single zone discovered what will happen is the whitetail will respawn only into the zones that you shoot out of i believe that's how it works that's how it has been working that's how it works in Layton. i haven't done the grind in rancho since september so it may have changed with the last update, but we will learn as we go. So I'm dropping my tents around 250 meters away from the zone, and I'm trying to set up for my best, most accessible zones, and I'm dropping my tripods about 175 meters away. But this is one of the very best spots you're gonna find for whitetail in Rancho. I know, even last grind, a year ago, this was an amazing hot spot, and right now I have four zones for whitetail, actually five, and I do believe we're gonna find even more than that. So what I'm gonna do guys, at the end of the video, I'm gonna share a hotspot map with you showing you exactly where I have found my whitetail zones in Rancho. Now I probably am not gonna have all of them, but I will share exactly what I have found and hopefully that will help you guys find your zones. Now they won't be exactly the same as mine, but they should be very similar. I don't believe they're at these two little lakes. They're not at these two lakes here. And I don't think they're at these two, but I am gonna check and I will let you know if I do find any. Okay guys, so we are now in Leighton Lakes and basically what was happening was I did find all of my zones, which did take me a very long time. I even got some friends to help me find the very last ones because those are always the very hardest to find. And I spent, I have no idea how many hours, but many, many hours finding zones. Now, I know I have all of them, and the reason I know that is because I did try to start my grind, and when I did, what I found was after doing one rotation, I had nothing but females in their zones. They just wouldn't respawn. And then once you find that last zone, it's like night and day. Every zone, they did have bucks in there, but the problem has been consistently getting deer into their zones. And I'll actually show you exactly what has been happening. Now, this lake, has been insanely awesome. Just about every time I go here, I do have whitetail here. So I generally start my rotation here. Now, the reason I wanted to pull a great one off of Layton is because I have one whitetail great one and it did come off a of rancho. So I was really hoping to pull one off of Layton and then maybe Mississippi, but it's just not worth my sanity. This grind is meant to be fun, guys. And if you're not having fun, if you're just finding it frustrating, which is what was happening to me, that's not what the game is about. We do have two bucks here. Beautiful. Splat, splat. Perfect. So I found what was happening is I would go to my first five zones and I would have deer there, but after a while, I couldn't even get six or seven zones to respawn. They just don't show up at their zones. Now, part of the problem, we do have this little bug in the game where when you have a jackrabbit zone, 
discovered before you find Whitetail, it won't show your Whitetail zone in the zone indicator, so you won't actually know where your zone is unless you have marked it with a tripod or you just have an amazing memory. Now that is one little bug that is happening in Leighton right now that is not happening on other maps, but they just really take a very long time to come into their zone, so the Leighton grind really does require a lot of patience. But when they show up, it's awesome! And that guy's a 172. So this is what has been happening quite a bit, guys. I spawn into my tent. It's 1430, so we have an hour and a half left in the drink zone, and there is absolutely nothing here. How long do you have to wait for the whitetail to come in? <laughs> okay, guys, so I just moved from the last lake over to Chila Lake, and I do have a whitetail zone here, and they actually just arrived, and all I have here are three females and a level one. Kinda sad. But I just find the latent grind to be a lot more challenging. It just takes more time, more patience, and quite honestly, I don't think that makes for very exciting live streams, and it really grates on my patience. Now, it can be done. It definitely can be done, but I personally feel like Leighton is the most difficult map to pull a Whitetail Great One off of. I just find the deer take a very, very long time to get into their zones, and running around and not shooting anything is not a lot of fun to me. Maybe that's just me, but let me know how you guys feel in the comments. I would love to know how your experience has been with your Whitetail Grind in Leighton Lakes since the last update, because I really don't think it's just me. Holy! This is the first time I've seen a buck here in a long time. That's exciting. <laughs> and it's just a level one. But one thing I, I understand that when you do lose a zone in Leighton Lakes, it used to be that it would come back in the same area, usually on the same lake, or a nearby water source within 400 meters, usually. But I understand that now when you do lose a zone, it can show up anywhere, and I mean anywhere on the map. And Leighton is such a huge map to search to find one zone. I just don't have time for that kind of zone maintenance. So they are respawning, they definitely are respawning, they just take a very long time to show up in their zones. And I know from experience that zones are going to vanish over time, whether I kill them or not, and I'm going to have to run around the map and find that missing zone in order to keep getting respawns. Now Leighton is very, very picky, they just don't respawn until you have all of your zones. I'm not sure if Rancho is as picky. I will find out, because I'm starting my grind there. I'm moving to Rancho. So we're here on Belmont Lake, and I have a zone right there. And I have another one right there, and I have another one right down there. So this is a great area for whitetail, at least on my map. <clears throat> okay guys, so we are now in Mississippi. Now I should mention that whitetail drink in Mississippi and Rancho from 8 until 11 or 11.30, and they drink in Leighton Lakes from 12 until 16 or 16.30. So one benefit of Leighton is that it does have a longer drink time by one hour. Now the other benefit of Leighton is that it is a non-DLC map, so anyone can do a grind in Leighton Lakes. Rancho and Mississippi are both DLC maps. Now, I understand there are around 70 drink zones in Rancho. There are just an insane amount of whitetail. But one thing you are gonna have to contend with in Mississippi is A, very, very thick map, very hard to see, and I understand the whitetail really love to drink really far back, pretty far back from the lake, and gators will spook your whitetail. It will happen a lot. Now, I don't know how picky Mississippi is with not having all your zones and giving you respawns, but I did find about 52 zones and try to start my grind before I knew there were actually 70 zones and they would not respawn for me. And one way to figure out whether or not you have your zones, guys, is if you kill only males and a female respawns, that means you have more zones to find. Males can only respawn as males, and females can only respawn as females, so that is a strong indicator. Oh, we spooked some whitetail, so I definitely have a zone here. And there they are. Got some nice bucks in there. Very nice. So which map is best really does come down to preference, but I do believe, in my opinion, Leighton is the toughest map to do your whitetail grind on, at least right now. Just because it takes them a very, very long time to get into their zones, and it does take a very long time to find your zones in the first place and once they do disappear. Leighton is such a huge map and there is water everywhere on that map. But this is a huge map as well. At least in Mississippi, all of the water edges are defined, whereas in Leighton, they really aren't. 
Now I have heard from other people who are doing their grind here in Mississippi that sometimes the whitetail do take their time to get into their zones as well. But I don't think they take as long as they do in Layton. But Rancho's great, they respawn beautifully. I just started my grind there today, but from what I can see, I had whitetail all over the place. And here is the Rancho map that I promised you. So these are all the zones that I have found so far. I am hearing that there are about 60 zones to be found in Rancho. Your zones won't be exactly the same, but they should be similar. So I hope this helps you guys find all of your drink zones in Rancho. But whatever map you guys decide to do your grind on, have fun with it guys. And I do wish you the very best luck in putting that Whitetail Great One in your lodge. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did guys, go ahead and smash that like button. I really do appreciate it and we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.